Hey, everybody, it's the 13th Wolfman Yoda. Today is, today is the last day. Day 31 of the 31 Days of Horror. The 31 Days of Horror. 31 movies, 31 days, 31 videos. This year has been astounding. I've seen a lot of people doing a lot of really cool stuff with the 31 Days. Um, everyone. Everyone that's that... That has done something has made it special for themselves and for people to watch. Uh, I am the Ice Lord. He's seen a lot of other people's stuff, so if he sees something that's on his list, he switches it out with his list to where he's not doubling. You know, he's not doubling up on someone else's. Yeah, I think that's kind of cool. I personally, you know, I mean, if I'm doing a, if I'm doing a video and it just so happens that. Something that I did, someone else does. Whatever. I mean, I like to hear their take on that exact same movie. You know? So, that's kind of cool. Let's just jump through the, the, the countries we have visited in these 31 days. United States, Italy. You know, Japan. France. The Philippines. England. Spain, and Canada. That's, I mean, <clears throat> well, well, Canada, Canada comes in today. So we haven't really talked about it yet, but we will. Um, before we get started, like, subscribe, share, and comment. When you like it, more people get to see it. When you subscribe, hit the bell. That way you'll be notified anytime I put something new up. And when you comment, that means that you want to engage with me and talk about what you think of the movie along with what I think of the movie. And there's other people doing this too. Like I said, I am the Ice Lord, Mr. Bones, Double Shot J, uh, Carly317, Mood616, Random Horror, Retro Horror, Jonathan Moody over at the Indie Horror Cafe, the one and only MSJ, Papa Jupe, your, you and your horror movies, uh, along with... Countless, countless, countless other people doing it. So go back, watch their stuff. Um, Joe Pilgrim, can't forget that guy, and Nightmare Maven. So you you got to go back and watch all these people's stuff. I mean, because they're all doing their own take on it. Like I said, I'm the Ice Lord's, not du making sure that he doesn't double up on other people's stuff. Um, the one and only MSJ has got theme weeks going on with his. Uh, Tony has nine fingers, and Jonathan Moody are both doing indie stuff. You know, um, Tony does it the hard way. Tony does indie stuff, but he does it all in alphabetical order. So he starts with A and he goes through Z. You know, even though it's 31 days and only 26 letters, he he has to skip over some letters because he doesn't have a movie for that for that letter. So he might get back to A again. You know, but. <clears throat> Me, I've done a lot of foreign stuff this month, except with the exception of probably like four or five movies that were American. And today's movie, which we're going to talk about, is Canadian. It's Shivers. Yeah. So talking a little bit about Shivers, I mean, this is Canada's, pro Canada's probably most famous horror director, David Cronenberg. This is the very first movie he made. Um, it was controversial because in the movie... A parasite gets out and turns people into sex-crazed maniacs. Ooh. Orgies. Big whoop. No, but uh, before we get into this, I mean, I look at this, I, when I was watching this movie, I'm like, okay, I can see where he got an inspiration. I don't know if this is, if this is where he got the inspiration, but I see that he might have got a little bit of inspiration for this movie from Rosemary's Baby. Because the whole thing takes place in this luxury complex, you know. People rent out these apartments, but inside this apartment complex, they also have shopping centers and medical, like, like doctor's offices and dental offices. and You know, so you really don't have to go anywhere to do anything. But in Rosemary's Baby, it's like, what are your neighbors doing? And that's kind of like the feeling I get with this one. What are your neighbors doing? in this giant luxury complex. 
And the thing is, is that with shivers, they're a slug-like creature. Yes, if you're thinking what I'm thinking, I can see that this movie inspired Night of the Creeps. You know, little slug-like creature, gets in the body, takes over. A little, little, you know, when I say parasite, that's basically what it is. It's a little slug-like creature. You can see him right there. Yeah. So, Night of the Creeps. Night of the Creeps, you know, they got into you, turned you into a zombie, you know, turned you into a, a crazed freak, you know. And then you go fast forward to the 2000s and you got Slither, which a lot of people go, oh, well, Slither is just a knockoff of Night of the Creeps. Well, Night of the Creeps was obviously, you know, inspired by Shivers. Yeah. So, inspiration. Uh, this movie stars Lynn Lowry, the oh so beautiful Lynn Lowry, Barbara Steele, the oh so sexy Barbara Steele. Uh, is it Paul? I think it's Paul Hampton. Um, da, 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 it doesn't say. Oh well, uh, Paul. Ha I think it's Paul Hampton that plays the the doctor in this. But like I said. Basically, this parasite gets out and it turns all these people into like little freaks, and and they're either they're either sex crazed or when they become sex crazed, they become a little little bit of maniacs and like a little cannibalistic on the side. Not as cannibalistic as some of the other movies I watched, but this movie just goes to the next step. Um, David Cronenberg liked body horror, you know, when you think about the movies that he made, Shivers. Rabid, The Brood, uh, Videodrome, The Fly, and Dead Ringers all have some kind of like body type thing going on. You know? Um, and it just, it's really odd that that's, that was his, that was his niche, you know, his, his thing. But he made it work every time. In this case, like I said, these little slimy slugs, you know, uh, trying to get transferred from one from one person to another. It, it, at the very ending of this movie, actually, now that I think about it, this movie is a cross between the it, Ro Rosemary's Baby and Invasion of the Body Snatchers, the Don Siegel 1955 classic, you know, where something has taken over their body. Well, in that case, they're duplicated. But here, something's taken over their body and they become more more lifelike. But there, you know, I just, the ending was very reminiscent of Invasion of the Body Snatchers. And this came out in 1975. So this came out before the remake of Invasion with Donald Sutherland. Could the ending of this movie inspire the ending of that movie? Again, we're back to inspiration. Um, I really, really dug this movie. This is a fun movie. This is a, this is the way to end the month, you know. So I mean, I really don't have anything else to say. But I think anybody that that likes Cronenberg's The Fly, or any of his other movies, should check out Shivers. This is from Vest Vestron Video. This is number eighteen. I only have two Vestron titles, which is really weird. I have this, and I have um, the Warlock Collection, which is number eleven. But this is their this is one of their newest ones, so check it out. As always, that's right. I am the Thirteenth Wolfman. I said it before. Like, subscribe, share, and comment. And uh, you know what? I love doing this for you for this month. I had a blast. I've chatted with a lot of really cool people. Um, keep it up. I have an idea for another 31 days. I don't know if I'd wait all the way till next year, but so here's the idea. I might do this sometime like down the road, not not too far down the road, but somewhere down the road. 31 days of virus films. You know? 28 days later, uh World War Z virus. Oh, and virus and carriers. And you know, I mean, so there's I, I just need to go through my movies and see if I have actually 31 days worth of virus movies. If so, I will be doing that just down the road. Like I said, I, I don't think I'll be waiting another, you know, another year to do it. It's just a cool idea. 
So as always, I am the 13th Wolfman. Thank you for watching these. Thank you for engaging. And I'm on the prowl.